Okay, I know it's been a while. I've had a lot of things going on, but this is the last video, which proves proof of concept of the Great Pyramid of Giza ram pump theory. As you can see, I've built the top half of the pyramid with the vents, the king's chamber, the grand gallery, the ascending uh, passageway, the queen's chamber, all the way down to the grotto, down to the subterranean chamber, and it all goes right here to this bucket of free-flowing water. There's no hose in or nothing. It's just going in. As you can see, it's cycling just fine. And if we come over here, you can see the water coming out of what would be one of the vents. And I put that little elbow on there so it wouldn't run down the pipe, but it's actually pumping. So, There's all the subterranean chamber, comes up to the grotto, goes up to the queen's chamber, through the grand gallery, up to the king's chamber, and out one of the vent pipes. Here's the free flowing water, up to the bucket. You're gonna have to add some more water here pretty quick. And as you can see, the water's coming out just fine. So this is proof of concept that the Great Pyramid of Giza was actually a ram pump. Like I said before, sorry about taking so long, but I had other things going on. Just got it finished up yesterday, and here it is, free flowing water. Down to the subterranean chamber, up to the grotto, queen's chamber, Grand Gallery, King's Chamber, vents, and water coming out. Just in case you can't see it. You see the water coming out right there. All right. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye-bye.